it's all images, straight away images. When I read something, I, I don't see the words, I see pictures. Even if I read a book, you know, even Marquez or somebody like him, 100 Years of Solitude is probably my favorite book. It's all images to me. That's the first picture I did for American Vogue. Probably the most beautiful girl in the world, Jean Frimpton. I like the accident. You see, I always looking for the accident. I think anyone who wants to be creative should always look for the accident. So, you know, even when you're painting, that little red drip goes over there and you think, let's follow that drip, because it's taking you somewhere that you wouldn't have thought of. It's quite interesting because you, your personality influences who, who you're photographing because you, whether you know it or not, you're still influencing them. It's not really about the pictures, it's about the people in a way. That's my first picture I ever did. That's my, my old man and my mother and, and Selma, probably on Margate Beach. All my books, they're like my diaries, so they're visual diaries rather than written diaries because it'd be very short volumes if they were written diaries. <laughs> Painting, you can, you can explore more, and photography has to be there. I mean, I think it's a great instrument for recording periods because it makes something unforgettable. The painting is not really the truth. The painting's an interpretation of reality, whereas for a photograph, it's an actual reality. There's no question about it. That moment stops. I'm not talking about Photoshop and retouching and all that, but in reality, there's reality there in the photograph. I just did what I liked. I wasn't really influenced by anybody. I like John French and I like Haverson. But if there was an influence, if it was anybody, it was Bill Brandt. I thought he was a great photographer. He didn't look like anybody else's. It came from somewhere else, which I didn't know about, really. And then when I learned about Picasso, it wasn't, it was his attitude that a wheel didn't have to be round. Nothing had to be what you saw it as. The sixties was all in London with Vogue and American Vogue and, and mostly Italian Vogue when they started. And I liked it, they called me maestro in Italy. <laughs> in London I was all you. <laughs> I remember I did a Vogue cover and it's the first time a black girl had been on the cover of Vogue. I could have been lots of things, I suppose. I could have been a painter or a filmmaker or a photographer. But in a way I've done it all, so it doesn't make much difference. I like doing commercials, I like doing documentary, I like everything. No, I enjoy everything really. The, uh, I've had quite a good time. I mean, I've liked everything I've ever done, so I guess I could say I've had a charmed life. <laughs>